Spotify. Welcome to Ibadan Car Park. You can always get a pet cab in Ibadan. Guys, let's get to a pet to get our Ejelson and bush meat. Though we have to get to different towns before we get to a pair. So guys, come with me. Let's get the current price of fresh fish and bush meat in a pair. Guys, I'm going in search of a jalso in a pair because I know that that is the only place I can get live African fish. There is a fish the Yoruba people called a jalso. That is African knife fish. Have you ever tasted it? For the Yoruba tradition, if you are trying to marry any lady from Yoruba land, you need to have a special fish. And that fish is called a jalson, which is called African knife fish. It's compulsory. I'm also going in search of bush meats. I have a um, list of particular bush meat that I'm looking for and I know I'll get it at Ekpe. Ekpe. Ekpe Road now is very, very good. You cannot drive from Ijebode down to Ekpe with your eyes closed because the road is now so good. So guys, this is Ekpe Roundabout. Welcome to Ekpe Town. Ekpe Town. Ekpe Aromisa Legbe Legbe. Ekpe Town is a town I can never visit without their special, yummy taste of fresh fish soup. Ekpe has a special delicacy soup combination that is Egusi Ijebu and Ewedu soup. They always have the special swallow, Eba. <laughs> you could imagine. If you're in Nigeria, take it of where to enjoy fresh fish soup on the street. Ekpe is the best town to visit. You always find fresh fish soup in their buka. I decided to feel good with fresh tilapia fish and jebu um, egusi and ewedu with eba. Ah! What a perfect combination. If you've never tried a gusi and a widow before, please do well to try it. So, guys, let's get into today's business. Market here in Ekpe. So, guys, we'll be going inside to get the current price of fresh fish here in Ekpe. So, guys, come with me if you're a fish lover. Yes, get inside. So, come with me. Let's go inside now. Yeah. 
Giants. 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 What up, travel out I'm <laughs> <laughs> guys i'm in search of bush meat different types of bush meat so i came all the way from ibadan down to epe fish market at Oluwu market they also sell bush meat so actually i'm here to buy monitoring lizard that is akika in yoruba shivet that is oloboko in yoruba also agbori and etu but because there was a full moon a night before i came the hunter could not go hunting so i couldn't get the bush meat guys i just want to tell you that if you're coming around to buy bush meat make sure it doesn't rain a day before or there was full moon a day before if it rained and there was full moon there you might not get the bush meat or the type of bush meat that you're looking for at Ekpeye. So that's actually what happened to me here. So when I got here, this is the only one. And this one, yes, yeah, crocodile. It has been bought. So this is the only one they have. It has been bought. And this woman is splitting this crocodile into pieces. After she has split it, she's going to 
boil it they have where they boil it then after boiling they also go through the roasting process here in ekpe so like i was told uh there is usually bush meat but because of fumo i couldn't get any of the ones i'm looking for though i move around because this is not the only place i also check around and i was told they couldn't find any of those bush meats though the hunter i think because of the rain and because of the full moon they didn't go on tea for that day so i decided to go inside the market because this is the outside this is the outside part of the market so i decided to get inside and see if i'm still going to get any there was hangs to wait so i waited for some time and after waiting i couldn't get um the bush meat or the type that i wanted so i decided to move around so at this place here they also roast now they are roasting snake this is snake yeah can you see the crocodile is so big i think after they cut it into pieces they were able to count um, 40 pieces big big ones here so i also move inside to, at this place here you can see they have the crocodile and they have the python the python is fifty thousand naira. <laughs>
Hello, look at 25. It is 25. It is 15. Okay. Hello, Hello, my shaman. I'm Hello, I'm about 15. I should be 17.
Elle va nous quitter et tout quitter tout là. Ben. Last price eighty thousand. Not bad. It's a very nice day. Yes. Hello. At Olowu Fish Market here in Ekpe, you have people that clean the fish for you. After buying your fish, you have to make sure that you remove the intestine. Sometimes you have to make sure you remove the intestine, cut out the gills, the bones, and if you want to cut it into pieces, they do that for you. Or those fish that comes with scale, they make sure they remove the scale and um, make sure it is clean. All you just have to do is take it home and cook. If you're coming from a very far place to a pet market and you don't remove the intestine, sometimes before you get home, it might affect the fish and it will make the fish start smelling spot or 
the taste, it will change the taste. So it is advisable you remove the intestine every time you're buying. Like on this table here, we have the lele, eja lele. We have um, apia, that is tilapia fish. And uh, we also have here, uh, we also have here uh, eja bokun. Eja bokun is a silver fish. And um, it's easily gets spoiled if you don't remove the intestine. So it is advisable you remove the intestine after buying. <laughs> Okay, snapper. Okay, yellow one. Okay, yellow one. Yellow one. Yellow one. Yellow one. Do you think it's expensive or it's cheaper? 
compared to the one they sell in your area. Are you a lover of fresh fish? You can write that in the comment section if you're a lover of fresh fish. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to always subscribe, like, and share. Till I see my next video. Bye.